We're jumping into the luxury VRBO business. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise, and I'm helping you, folks. I'm helping you get into the luxury VRBO business. And, of course, we're not just worried about VRBO. We got Airbnb. We got Turnkey. We got, like, Travelocity. There's, like, a whole ton of short-term rental tech websites out there, big tech websites that we're going to utilize. Speaking of tech, my man. The man of the hour, the guy I'm working for today. His name is Jeff. He's from California. And Jeff, you're a little familiar with tech because you work in the IT industry, right? So we are going to utilize big tech to our advantage to help you break in to the luxury rental market. And you know what? Even though it's luxury, since we're out here in my neck of the woods, the Midwest, the price point for a premium A-grade property with pool access for your guests, with golf course access. This thing's going to be legit. We're going to sleep over 10. It's still going to be a fraction of what it would cost you to buy something similar, probably something, I mean, shit, the price point on this, you might not even be able to get yourself like a little 1,200-square-foot bungalow in your neck of the woods. And the best part is Holton Wise is going to handle everything for you. But... If it don't make money, doesn't matter how nice the property is, doesn't matter how close you are to the golf course, don't matter how refreshing that swim is, if it don't make money, there's no fucking point to you buying it, right? You ain't going to live there. You're, you're staying in sunny California. So what we need to do now, brother, is we need to get into the numbers to see if it makes money for you. And we're going to do that right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve, take me now. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers, right? This property, it's a nice property, okay? But it don't matter if the toilet is lined in friggin' gold. If it don't make you money, right? You ain't living in it, okay? We need to make money off of these things, right? So what do I have going on? 105 Melrose Lane, Broadview Heights, Ohio, 44147. Been on the market for 80 days. Priced at 439 grand, right? 439 grand. Now, the listing agent uh the seller right they want 439 i don't think that's unreasonable but i of course work for you right i don't work for the seller i'm not the listing agent i am here for you and you alone i want to get you a better deal i believe we can probably work that out to 430 if we spend 430 what are we getting right we're getting a hell of a deal man let's let's read what they're saying and then i'll get into all the things that are pertinent to you, right? Because you got to understand the seller, the listing agent, right? They're going to be talking about this uh, to owner occupants and stuff, right? Their target audience isn't worldwide investors like we have here on Holton Wise TV, right? This is the maintenance-free living you have been waiting for. This new listing at the Wiltshire Golf Community is on a private cul-de-sac. Free golf. Seller supplying the fairway card, allowing free golf in 2022 and 2023. Ask agent for details. This three-bedroom, two-and-a-half home features neutral colors throughout, granite countertops, updated kitchen, den, slash office, slash baby room. And real quick, right? A den, office, baby room. For us, that's going to be a bedroom, right? Because what are we trying to do? We are trying to sleep as many people as we can, right? When you're on the short-term rental sites, the Airbnbs, the VRBOs, the Travelocities, the Turnkeys, whatever, right? We're using them all, folks. We're going to use them all. You get more money by being able to sleep more guests, right? 
So any room that's got a door, and hell, even some that don't, we're stacking with beds, right? We want to maximize our listings. We want our listings to sleep the most amount of people as possible because that is how we maximize our nightly rental rate. And that, friends, is the goal, okay? Den slash office slash baby room. Off of the master bedroom, finished basement, dynamic views of the 18th green at Wiltshire Golf Course, heavily treed backyard with an expansive stamped concrete patio, highly rated North Royalton School District, minutes to I-77. The HOA includes use of the community pool. This home is in excellent condition and shows like a model home. Move in immediately. Call today to schedule a private showing. Spend your time at the pool or golf course instead of cutting the grass. Uh, and then she said, you know, buyer's agents contact her, blah, 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 right? So what do we have? First of all, A-grade neighborhood. We're on a friggin' golf course, right? Our guests are going to get to utilize the golf course and a pool, right? And all that is going to be wrapped up in our HOA fee, right? We don't even have to, like, maintain it other than paying the fee, okay? So uh, let's go through the photo so you can see some of this stuff, right? Super nice house, right? Kitchen looking pretty good. Now, I have placed a moderate budget here, $15,000, right, for renovation. But, like, we don't need to renovate anything. As I said, it's turnkey. But, like, you got stuff on the wall. You got furniture here. When you actually make the house empty, perhaps it doesn't look, you know, super excellent, right? You might have some fading on the carpet under the furniture, right? So I always like to throw in a little bit. Uh, of an upfront budget. Maybe we don't use it all. Maybe we do. But I like to set things up for you guys to understand that, like, maybe we're going to repaint this room, repaint that room. Maybe we'll swap some carpet here. Maybe we'll do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, right? You just have to know that we need this thing looking premium uh, for our guests, right? Like, I don't want to advertise these washers and dryers, dude. I want to get some nice brand spanking new ones, nice little bar action around the kitchen. As far as the kitchen goes, we'll leave that. Like, this all looks great, but, you know, when they remove this or may remove that, there's going to be some holes on the wall. So depending on, like, what we do there, right, we might need to spend a little bit of money, right? So for this, you can kind of consider the furnishings and the renovations one and the same, right? Because I got 25 allocated to that, right? So total 40K. I want this thing to look amazing. And we got about 40K allocated to do that. Beds, tables, couches, flat screen TVs, right? We're going to make sure we got smart TVs so they could come equipped, ready to rock and roll with their own Netflix, Hulu passwords, things of that nature, right? We got to make this thing pop, look beautiful, right? Like this room, we're going to have to furnish it, obviously, right? You got all the seller's crap in here. Once this is all gone, perhaps under the where this bed is, you know, the carpet is a different shade. So we want things to look as fresh as we can. This is that office slash baby slash den room they were talking about, right? We're not going to set this up as an office. It's got a friggin' door. We're going to put probably two sets of bunk beds in there, right? That's going to sleep another eight people, okay? Uh, technically, when you do your listings on the sites every bed they say could sleep uh two people right so that'd be four beds eight people we could put that on the listing right we want to sleep as many people as possible right i cannot uh reiterate that enough like this bathroom it's looking a little dated right so maybe we want to replace this vanity that could all fall under the fifteen thousand dollar budget right finished space in the basement that's great and you could even throw some beds down here why not right you don't need a separate you know hangout area in the basement just use that as the uh, for the living room right they're only staying there for a few days to a week and then this right here this is our money right right on a freaking golf course beautiful outdoor patio we'll probably want to put a gas grill out to that right like they got a grill here but why swap out protein propane tanks all the damn time when we could just do a gas grill right so that's nice not to mention you get the community pool right so it's super nice deal if you had to pay 439 that's fine but i think it's been on the market 80 days let's try to get it at 430 now with all the stuff we got beautiful looking house pool to use on the golf course a grade neighborhood broadview heights which by the way if you don't know what i mean when I say A-grade neighborhoods, I want you to check the Tools and Resources tab on HoltonWise.com or in the show notes below. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I wrote it about, shit, six years ago, but it's a living document. I update it frequently. So as things change, the document changes, okay? So it's up-to-date information. I graded all the neighborhoods in the greater Cleveland area on an A to F scale. A is what we're dealing with here. Prices are high, risk is low, crime is almost zero. F, 
Prices are super low. Risk is super high. There's a decent chunk of crime, right? For our long-term rentals, our Section 8 rentals, I've made the most money in the C and D areas, right? But long-term rentals in A-grade neighborhoods, they don't make any money. They don't cash flow. Sure, this is great. It's on the golf course, but, like, you're not really targeting rentals. It doesn't make much sense, right? Like, this is an owner-occupant uh, type area. There's not a lot of people looking to be long-term tenants in these neighborhoods. We don't mess with it, right? It works for short-term rentals, but not long-term rentals, right? Likewise, the short-term rental game doesn't work in the high-risk neighborhoods, right? It's just too risky for the investors, right? So every neighborhood out there, every asset class is going to have a real estate strategy that can be applied to it that can make you money. But not every neighborhood is going to work with every strategy, right? So check that out for more info on what I'm talking about, right? With our short-term rentals, we want to be in the premium neighborhoods. We want to be on the golf course. We want extremely low risk. We don't want to have to worry that if this property is empty for two weeks in a row in February because there's two feet of snow in Ohio. We don't want to have to worry that the neighbors are coming in and stealing all the flat screen TVs, stealing all the couches, stealing this, stealing that. We don't want to deal with that, right? So with all of that said, with these premium properties in this A-grade neighborhood, we're going to get a premium price. I believe the nightly rate should be approximately $600 a night on average, folks. In the summer, we'll probably get higher than that. In the winter, we'll probably have to reduce price a little bit. That's how it works, okay? It's cold in Cleveland in the winter. It just is what it is, right? Now... Historically, though, it should average out to a 62% occupancy. I got that number directly from data pulled from Airbnb. Now, we'll be using more websites than Airbnb. So all properties in the Airbnb website in this market are averaging 62% occupancy. Do I think we could probably go above that? Yeah, because Holton Wise is one of the biggest names in town in regards to rental property investing. Number one. Number two, Airbnb is going to be one of many websites we choose to utilize. But let's just go off of some historical data, some conservative data. 62% occupancy. So if you rented it every day, at the nightly rent, that would be 223k a year. But we ain't going to do that. We're going to have approximately 38% vacancy to worry about. And then in addition to that, we got Airbnb's fees. We got cleaning and maintenance fees that Holton Wise will have to do. You got your taxes, your insurance. You got your HOA. Now, that includes the landscaping. It includes access to the pool. So that 185 a month is well spent, right? That's what keeps that neighborhood so nice. The the common areas looking good, the entrance keeping it luxurious, so that's money well spent, right? So after everything's all said and done, I presume you'll make close to 100k net, right? So we pick it up for 430. Okay? We then put about 40k into the furnishings, into cleaning it up, into making it look beautiful. We're all in at 470, but 322 of that will be financed from a lender, right? 30-year, fixed interest, low interest. Folks, if you're getting into real estate investing, the number one reason you should do so is the financing, okay? Residential financing is the key to everything. You can't start a restaurant and get 30-year financing with only 25% down. You can do so in real estate. The only negative I could say about real estate investing and residential financing is you're limited to 10 mortgages, Okay. Now, if you're smart, you're going to take that first mortgage and you're going to burn that on your personal home. Take care of home base first. Why? Because no matter what, if you've got a roof over your head, you're paying a mortgage. Do you want that to be your mortgage or your landlord's mortgage? Of course you want it to be your mortgage. That leaves you with nine. Nine 30-year loans left, okay? So do you want to burn your 30-year loans on thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 mortgages? Maybe you do. If you do, we can help you. We'll get you some of those long-term properties. But me, I think the best bet is to maximize the amount of cheap money you can get, especially right now. Interest rates are friggin' low. So let's burn those nine mortgages on some $300,000-plus mortgages, right? Get those tenants to pay off our loans, man. Let's have all these guests pay all that money off for you, right? So for a $147,000 actual cash investment, you're going to get a property that's worth close to five hundred thousand dollars and is going to put money in your pocket every year totally passive holton wise handles everything on the ground the property management the maintenance the construction 
the the showings, the hosting, the whole night. We even do the rental property insurance for you. We specialize in non-owner occupied insurance on properties all throughout Ohio, right? And I'm projecting a 55% cash on cash return with that 100k in NOI and after you pay off the mortgage and all that it drops down to a little bit under $81,000. And this is extremely low risks, right? If for some reason at the end of the day you did all this and like Airbnb and all those sites exploded, you still own a premium property in a premium location on a golf course next to no crime over there, very little risk. The worst case scenario, you just put it back on the market, totally fresh, totally clean, and we sell it to a wealthy owner occupant buyer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.